reasoning is, and then we'll have a brief discussion to clarify the assumptions are being brought out, and then we'll revote until things converge. So now, let's look at an example. We're going to work through an example here with some volunteers from the audience. The units will be chickens. What we're going to estimate, how many are needed at a dinner for 20 people? People involved, I will be the facilitator, and we're going to have a requirements owner from the group and some estimators from this group. So we have a requirements owner, I think, already identified. Mr. Requirements Owner, why don't you come on up? And I think we have three expert eaters who like food, who are also going to be working as estimators. So have them come on up here, too. You can stand over here. Now I'm going to brief the requirements owner on some of the details quietly. Here's your briefing. Okay. So you can read through that while I brief our estimators. Our requirements owner knows everything about who is coming to this dinner, why they're coming, what they like to eat, what they don't like to eat, and everything else about the people, and also what he wants to provide in terms of a dining experience. Unfortunately, he knows nothing about how much the food costs, what size things come in, and so forth. Fortunately, our skilled set of estimators, having been briefed carefully in advance, know certain things about food. If we were estimating in a real project, of course, the knowledge would already be deeply embedded in the minds of everyone here. In our trial example here, we are seeking the population a bit with some information to smooth things over and help get through some of the critical points. So, Mr. Owner, are you ready? I am. All right. How are our estimators? Are you folks ready? Mm -hmm. All right. So, we're going to start on the assumption that up to this point, everyone has had a chance to read the requirement for the thing that we're going to estimate, and that they had a chance to discuss it with themselves, to do some investigation, some research, maybe go out to dinner a few times, get ready for this. And by the time they show up at the meeting, they're pretty well prepared and understand the subject matter. And at this point, we're going to assume that we've had our initial discussion in the meeting among themselves and talking to the product owner and the requirements owner, and they're ready to estimate. So each of them will have a set of cards they will use, and then we'll select their numbers and hold them close so no one can see them until it's time to show them to everyone. So now we'll do that initial round of estimation based on what you know already, based on your understanding of this, based upon things you've eaten in the past and dinners you've attended. So we're going to ask you estimators to pick a card that answers this question, how many of these do we need at dinner for 20 people? Pick a card and don't show it to anyone.
They're four weeks old and yield a tender, full flavored meat. Scrubs are considered the king of birds and offer rich and red meat. Ideal for grilling and quick sauteing. They're full flavor stands up against brown marinades. They are best kept, rare to medium rare. And we really want to go for squabs instead of chains. Do we ask questions? Yes, absolutely. Uh, what is the average weight of a typical squab? Excellent question. Uh, a whole squab usually weighs one pound. Yes, we would, I assume we have at least at least one side. Yeah. You guys want to try again? Is one squab enough for one person to eat? I don't know. <laughs> nah, that's that's why I need help from you guys. All right, so we can, let's do it again. So select your thoughts about the revised chicken, which is now a squab. And don't show anyone yet. This is anonymous. I don't want. We want the expert advising everyone else. All right, everyone got your cards? All right, show us your values. What have you got? 8, 40, and 20. Interesting. Wide variation. 40 squabs. All right. <laughs> Let's start with 8. So, you were thinking that, uh, obviously, we're not going to need as many as the other folks were thinking. Can you give us your reasoning? Okay. So, if my information is correct in that the average adult can still eat half a pound of meat regardless of type of meat, um, then I want to be able to prepare enough squab to deal with this many people. Um, so in doing so, we can't really get you know, between 10 and whatever the next number up. I'm going to go slightly lower because of our size. There are other, there's other food available, and I think this will work well. So you're thinking sort of half a squab per person, and there's size issues, and that should do it. Okay, yes. who's our high voter here? Me. 40, okay. You're, you're, you're in for 40 squabs. Can you give us your thoughts on okay, this? Okay, so I figured one person would eat one squab mm -hmm. at least. So because a two pounds of meat cooked is only one pound. Or two pounds of meat raw is only one pound. Mm -hmm. So if a squab is one pound, it's only going to be half a pound. So I figure that people want to eat a little bit more than that. And we there was nothing higher than 13. And I thought we needed more than 13, so I went with ordering more food. Interesting, okay. Um, Mr. Planner, can you give us any insights? If there's a little bit more information I forgot to share with you all. So this is actually, uh, the people that are going to be here are actually 13-year-old Girl Scouts. And they're all celebrating that they've all earned awards at Bel-Air. Uh, and six of them are vegetarians. And as we mentioned before, there will be some sides available. So that, that might change some of your estimates here based on on what, what the type of guest is and uh, Can you repeat the first part? Sure. They that the guests are thirteen year old Girl Scouts. And this is a so a celebration banquet. And some are vegetarians. And yes, six of them are vegetarians. So then the question remains how many squab would be needed to feed these now fourteen Girl Scouts? You can ask more questions. 